Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus and this will be for the 8th to the 14th of March. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. It's a general reading though, so it's not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, don't forget time is fluid and energy can be vice versa. For this reading, I'm going to be taking a card from this deck, the Guardian Angel deck, one from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and one from the Romance Angels, and I'll finish with some tarot. Okay, Taurus. Can I have a card for Taurus, please? For me, it's the 14th. One card. They all want to jump out. Oh my goodness. Keeps doing this for all the cards. All the signs at the moment and then you end up with about 30 cards out okay one card for Taurus 8 for the 14th thank you okay guardian of action and this is in reverse so this is the same as the king of wands in reverse so you could have been with somebody who's a narcissist they were ruthless um they were impulsive um but like it's now telling you to be the leader in a situation. Maybe you haven't been a situation like a leader in your own life. Um, so yeah, it's telling you that you just need to be a leader in your own life. Take back the power. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you've got the spiritual teacher, which is the same as the hermit card. So you're doing some soul searching, some introspection. You're spending some time alone, getting some inner clarity um, about a situation. You may have had the five of sword situation you may have been in a situation that where you were bullied it could have been conflict mind games if i can talk mind games disagreements you could have been cheated on any kind of hostile situation um so because of that you're now spending time by yourself um spending time alone um And as I said, it could have been with somebody who was a narcissist or who was very controlling. Um, and that's why it's telling you to take back power in your own life now. Okay, so tell me more for Taurus. Okay, the one that fell out is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, but it's in reverse. It's like maybe there was a situation you thought might progress to be something more um you thought this person could be your person and i feel like there is someone in your life though that you already know this person could be your person um but whether they were married or don't want to ever get married or don't want to be in some sort of commitment with you i don't know what the situation is i mean you've got engagement in reverse and you've got the the marriage card and conformity card in reverse so whether somebody is your person but they don't want to have what you want they don't want to progress into a relationship um could be something like that you do need to love yourself first though so whether this person is not offering you what you want maybe you want a relationship with this person but this person does not want a relationship in general at all peace and it's in reverse so there is somebody who's you've got loyal heart on the bottom so there is somebody who who is loyal in a situation um this is all about fidelity loyalty but it's all about everybody your friendships your partnerships they all have the qualities of somebody who's very devoted they're faithful they have a loyal heart but are you as loyal in return? And it's talking about now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. So are you being as loyal to these people or person, um, your friends, your partner, whoever? Are you being loyal to them as they are to you? Then we have peace. And this is in reverse. So upright, it would be all about having peace in a situation and also freedom from kind of attachments. But in reverse, it's like now is a time for calmness and well-being in, in spite of temporary conditions. Um, you need to go within and you need to 
fine tune the instrument that you are find the harmony within yourself don't look to the outer world to provide certainty this too shall pass and once again your life will be filled with beautiful music and i feel like that comes down to because it's telling you to love you need to love yourself first it's all coming it's all due to that it's all due to you needing to love who you are Only you, you are the only person that can make you happy. You are the only person that can give you peace. You are the only person that can provide for you what you want. Because you can make it happen. You can go out there and make it happen. You can't rely on other people because it's being codependent for other people to make you happy or fulfill your wishes or dreams and whatever. You need to make those things happen. Tell me about Taurus. 8th and 14th. So you might not be in communication with somebody. It could also be a delay. There could be violence in a situation for some people. That's not everybody, obviously. Um, miscommunication as well, but there's like a delay. You're feeling frustrated. Um, it can also be about manifesting, not manifesting what you want, manifesting more of what you don't want. Um, but yeah, it could be about resisting the change. Oops. You got the Ace of Wands. This is a very fiery, passionate new beginning. Um, it could also be about some new creative spark, a new create, a new career. But for for most people, it's about a new relationship, and it's going to be some fiery, passionate new beginning. I feel like a situation left you feeling very unfulfilled, um, and because of that, I mean, maybe that's you need to contemplate what it is you want because as I said maybe someone doesn't want to progress to the higher level of commitment that you want they don't want to progress to a relationship or they don't want to progress to getting married or whatever it is you want they they aren't wanting to offer that um, and maybe that's left you feeling very unfulfilled and bored now with the solar plexus once again this is about you taking back your own power this is about self-esteem having confidence as I said before, it's with the Guardian of Action. Um, I feel like you need to take back power in your own life. I'm pretty sure I said that. I'm pretty sure I didn't imagine saying that. But yeah, you do need to take back power in your own life. Yeah, I did with the King of, yeah, the, the Narcissist guy. Um... Somebody, yeah, so maybe this person is a narcissist or that could have been somebody in your past. I don't know, but I feel like whatever it is, you need to take back power in your own life. That's what it comes down to. Take back control of your own life. Because if you don't, you, you're just codependent if you're relying on someone else to make you happy, as I said. So somebody could have been giving to other people, but it's also about doing some self-care. It could have been a one-sided relationship, but I feel like you definitely need to just care for yourself right now. Um, you are all up in your head about the situation. Release any negative thoughts, any self-limiting beliefs. Um, you've also got the three of pentacles as well. So this could be you learning about a situation or focusing more on your work. Maybe you do some collaboration. Could be that as well. This could be affecting your situation like your money, your food, your everyday things, shelter, safety, all those things. Um, but you are going to make a positive movement forward. You are learning about a situation as well. So let's clarify. So the no communication and not manifesting what you want. Um, what you want is a new relationship, but you're not manifesting that. You're manifesting more of a person that is a manipulator. And somebody may come in as an offer, come in with an offer, and you may think they're your Prince Charming. Um, but in reverse, Five of Swords, it could be somebody also wants to reconcile with you. So somebody may come in with an offer that somebody that wants to reconcile. Um, but you need to work on manifesting what you don't want, what you do want, not what you don't want. 
Then we have Passion Ignited. So I'm firing a new passion beginning or a new career that's creative. Tell me more. It's for Taurus. Somebody left you out in the cold. In the, it could be in the past. It could be if it's a reconciliation, maybe it's somebody from the past who left you out in the cold. Um, you need to stop playing the victim now. If you want a fresh start, you also need to stop playing the victim. A situation maybe didn't offer you whatever you wanted, the Ten of Pentacles, this success and business relationships, happy family life, security, wealth, financial success, all those things. It didn't offer you that and you're all up in your head about the situation. Um, you did maybe have some absolution in that situation too because um, you had the Five of Swords, some sort of hostile situation. You could have been cheated on, lied to, bullied, could have been violence whatever this is for you, but I feel like you need to stop playing the victim now. If you want a new fresh start, you need to stop playing the victim. And once again, you're discontent and bored due to a situation that's maybe not offering you your level of commitment that you want. You are resisting this, this death card. You are resisting changing. You are, um, you need to do work on you. You also need to purge whatever doesn't serve you in your life anymore. Um, and then you'll be able to have some from new beginning, some blossoming relationship. It could also be about you focusing on your employment, but you are going to walk away from a situation, which is great. Um, now you're all in your head, as I said. Um, you're worried possibly about what other people think, but it's also about you doing some collaboration, working on your material, I guess your money, um, and doing some self-care, probably because it was a one-sided relationship that you're in. As I said, this person doesn't want to commit to you. Page of Swords in reverse. This is about somebody who is all talk and no action. Um, they don't make a plan with you. They could also be rude and gossipy, those kind of people. But for majority of people, it's just all talk and no action. Somebody, you know, I like you, we'll go on a date and then that never happens. Um, they keep you hanging on. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody's obsessed with he did this, she did this, worried about what other people think. Um... I feel like you're not learning in a situation. You keep going back. You keep going back to a situation that's not offering you what you want. As I said, they're not offering you this higher level of commitment. They're not. They're not. You feel like this person could be your one, but yeah. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.